How cool is this packaging? Oh wait, give me a sec. There, let's unbox it, test the drawing experience on Mac, PC and Android tablet and see if it's any good. Welcome back super creators, miss me? Anna here and today we're reviewing graphic design tablet by Huion called Inspiroid Giano, one of the largest Bluetooth 5.0 tablets on the market currently. They were very kind to send me this tablet for review, just a little disclaimer, but it is not a sponsored video so all the testing I've done, all the drawing experience I'm about to share with you is completely my own. They're also watching this for the first time. And if you want to check out more of these graphic design tablet review videos, you can do so right here. I hope you're ready for this. I am super excited. Let's go. All right, let's see what's inside. Oh yeah. Kind of a matte surface. It's not as reflective as let's say this part. USB to USB-C cable. Pen holder. Can you guess what this is? Qiong glove. Instruction manual. And the pen. Two buttons. Look at the mess we've made. Let's try this trick again. Oh, that didn't work. And if we're not clear yet, there's no display on this tablet. That's right, you draw here, but you look at your screen and that's where the drawing appears just so we're clear. So this is a large tablet. It has a very large panel for working space. And if I compare it to my iPad 12.9 inch fifth generation, then you can really see how big of a difference that is. If you have an iPad or anything that's 13 inch diameter, you can test it out for yourself. Look how many markers and pens we can fit on both sides of the iPad in order for it to match this panel. It is big. <laughs> the surface of this panel is made to be paper-like and you can't feel it right now because you're on the other side of the screen, but it does feel very, very amazing and it is so, so pleasant to put strokes on this panel. But you can hear what it sounds like, so let me just show you. This is what it sounds like with the original pen nib. And this is what it sounds like with the felt nib because I wanted to test both of them. I prefer the original one in this case. If drawing, I will probably not have my laptop standing right here because I need those shortcut keys and that's a little bit far. So maybe in reality, if I were using it, I would opt in for something more like this so that I can draw and access the keyboard if I need to. Now let's see, how can I actually connect the two? I'm going to go to the Huion store, Inspiroi Giano. Here we have a bit about the tablet, which I suggest to read. I'm gonna leave links down in the description. The download button. And we're going to download it for Mac. So let's install it. It says device not connected. Now let's actually try turning it on. So I'm gonna press the button right here. And there it is. I know it is on because this display is showing some information. So let's open up Bluetooth and see if it's connected. Inspiroi Giano, connect. So the Bluetooth icon is not blinking. We have a Huion logo here, which should represent that it's connected to PC. We have the battery levels. And now let's see if it's going to work right away. Yes, it is working right away. I'm going to the very corner and I get to the very corner of my MacBook screen. Here we go all the way to the end of the screen as well. Same as here and on the very top right corner. So all the corners are covered. There's no gap. Brush, sizes, zoom in, zoom out, undo. The working area is right here. The digital pen so far has E for eraser and mouse right button. I'm actually going to adjust that. Pressure settings, which we can play with a bit later, but basically here you can adjust how light or hard you have to press in order to get the line that you want. I think I'm gonna stick with this 
for now. All right, so let's test it out. I opened Clip Studio Paint. There's a link in the description if you want to check it out. I want to see how good this pen and this display tablet work with special brush. So the brush that I'm picking right now is called Kenny Main 2. It is from Kenny Ruiz. I did a review of his class on how to create manga. You can check it out. I'll leave a link in the description and right here on the screen. So this brush right here, if you press very lightly, it should be very light strokes. And so far it's kind of crazy to me how responsive this is. I'm barely pressing on the canvas and yet I have these little strokes. And then if you press very hard, it should be big. Yes, perfect. And let's try to press from light to hard and see how this works. All right, that is so cool. Let's do the test of straight lines. I will go fast and then slow. I'll do the same, but with a different brush. I do feel very much so in control. You can see that the opacity changes depending on how hard I press. So if we look at the tapper, it is very nice. It ends just as it's supposed to. It's a very nice surface. I'll keep saying it because it is true. It is a very, very nice surface to work with. I'm extremely happy with that. So this tablet has Bluetooth 5.0 technology and I'm not a tech person myself. So I didn't know there were different Bluetooth points. That means it has greater range, more stable data transmission and faster speed compared with the older versions. On their website, Hewn says there is a five to 10 meters communication distance. And if you don't have Bluetooth on your device, you can also plug it in with a USB-C cable that they're providing for you, or you can get a USB adapter to plug into your device and then you will have Bluetooth. Hyun claims this device has a long lasting life of up to 18 hours even. And based on my drawing with this, I never charged it before. It was at about two or three bars when I first opened this tablet straight from the manufacturer. And it still lasted me about seven hours of drawing and experimenting time. So I do think that 18 hours mark is correct. And then it takes about four and a half hours to completely recharge again, which you can do using this same cable that you can plug into your device or a power outlet. And in case you're running out of battery, but you're so in the zone and you still wanna work, there's nothing to worry about. Bluetooth connectivity will still work even when plugged in and charging. So I do have to admit this tablet looks very, very lovely. It's equipped with environmental aluminum alloy back case, rounded corners, together with these four anti-slip pads right here. It is very thin, if you can see. I think they did a marvelous job because it still is a heavy piece of equipment and it feels very sturdy as well. Apparently it weighs one kilo and 145 grams. It has six programmable express keys with small bumps on them so you can tell which key it is without having to look, but it does take a little bit of time getting used to. They advertise it as near silent keys and if you press gently, that is true. But with my pressing uh, like a maniac, that's of course not true, but I guess that's on me. So using Mac was fun. I found that the hand-eye coordination was fast because it was almost the same size screen on my Mac as the surface that I was working on. I didn't find any lagging. It was very responsive and super fun to work with. And then I decided to try the Android tablet, which is downsizing quite a lot but you can use this tablet with Android tablets or Android phones, so why not test it? There's no need for a driver, this time you just have to connect via Bluetooth and it should work right away. I was first a little bit confused about the size because it was too stretched out and the 
LCD screen on the Huion was showing Huion logo, not a phone connection. So then I had to change it. And the way I changed it was by pressing the first and the fourth buttons at the same time on Huion until the logo turned into a phone icon. Then uh, more than half of your working area is gone. You only work on the left side and uh, the other part, I guess you can use as your tablet or your phone holder. That's the best use I found for it. If there's a way to change it and rotate it somehow, then I haven't found it. But if I do, I will make sure to leave it in a pinned comment in the description. But so far, that is the best that I could come up with. At first, I painted the girl that we started painting on Mac in Ibis paint or Ibis paint. I'm not sure, actually. This was my first time using the software, but I heard that a lot of people use it to draw on their phones or tablets. So I decided to give it a shot. It was a bit confusing because I'm not used to the software, but otherwise it worked pretty much as expected, though no shortcut keys are working, not really. So that is something you should keep in mind. Again, if I find a way around it, I'll make sure to leave it in the comment section down below. And then I also opened the sketchbook app on my tablet and it was awesome. I'm used to the sketchbook app. I've tried it on my Mac and my PC. So it was kind of like familiar and I had a lot of fun drawing with it. It was pretty cool. Honestly, I don't think that this tablet is worth it for such a small screen, but it's definitely cool that it's an option and that you can connect it together. It is a very high quality tablet, the Huion tablet and versus the cheap Android screen and performance, I just don't think they correlate well. Because it's a tablet made for pro, I think it's best to use it with the software, devices and tools that can handle it. And definitely the size didn't help much either, though Huion does say that this tablet was mostly made for bigger screens. So here's what my current setup looks like. We have the big Wacom tablet that I mostly use as a secondary screen or to paint in Photoshop. You can check out its review in the top right corner. My mouse, keyboard and display. Where am I going to fit this huge Huion new tablet? Okay, how about there? Perfect. Connecting to PC was not a problem. I installed the driver from the website like before, changed the settings and connected to PC via Bluetooth. It works just as well as on Mac. I wanted to try with the PC because it's a Windows system and because of the bigger screen, which once again, Huion recommended. The drawing experience was awesome on a bigger display, but I still kind of preferred a screen that matches the size of the tablet's working area. So the Mac screen kind of matched it perfectly and it was better for me because of the hand-eye coordination. I just found it easier. And I decided to paint the same girl once again, starting from the Mac version, not from the Android version. I actually don't really like how it turned out. And my goal was to bring this painting to a completion. And while you watch me paint, here are a few other facts and thoughts about this tablet. This wonderful tablet comes with a pen, a battery free pen. So at least you don't have to worry about recharging that. It is PW17 Tech 3.0 technology for a shorter reaction distance than any of the other Huion pens until now. So that's a good thing for us, which includes five standard nips and five felt nips inside this little donut shape has just over 300 PPS report rate, 8,192 levels of pressure sensitivity, and supports 60 degree tilt. Truly, the pen nib has minimal to no movement. This display can be used vertically, horizontally. You can rotate it 90, 180, and 270 degrees. So it's good for both right-hand and left-handed artists. And one of the other things that I really love is their auto sleep. That's a very good addition because if you're not using your tablet and you forgot to turn it off, or let's say you went to get a drink or something and it took you longer than expected, after 15 minutes, this tablet goes to sleep. You can also adjust the timing in the driver settings. There is a small LCD screen on this tablet on the very left top corner 
that shows information like how much power you have left, if your device is connected, and if the press keys are pressed and working properly. Also, after two hours, there's going to be a pop-up on the screen that reminds you to stand up and stretch because it's not good to sit in the same position for a very extended period of time. That's a nice little addition. Though I do have to admit, I did not stand up when I saw um, the pop-up. <laughs> So that's that about the specifications. How much does this tablet cost, Anna? This tablet costs $200. Okay, $199, but we all know how this works. So here's the thing. There are display tablets that start at about $250. Maybe you can find one at $200 that are okay, right? So if you've never used the graphic design tablet like this one, where you have to look straight while your hand draws, then you will probably want a display tablet if your budget is a bit bigger. Because there are a bunch of tablets that are graphic tablets like this one without a display that are way cheaper like I was reviewing the deco fun series and I think they were like 30 40 dollars if I'm not mistaken which I might be then you were like okay why why is such a big price difference I'll tell you why this tablet feels professional and I mean it I mean professional this tablet the texture is just incredible I mean if you're editing videos or maybe just using it instead of a mouse or something, you're not gonna really notice it. But as an artist, you really do appreciate that texture. And because it's not a display tablet, they can do all sorts of cool things with the top layer because they don't have to worry about uh, confusing colors, changing the colors too much or adding too much noise or grain. That's only something display tablets can worry about. This one, on the other hand, it doesn't matter. There's no colors, right? So they can really work with this texture. And I have to tell you, it is one of the most pleasant textures I've had to experience yet. And I definitely think it's the biggest pro for me. Also, another huge pro is the fact that it's gigantic and it could be a pro or a con if you don't have a lot of space in your office or you wanna take this tablet with you to go and you don't have a big bag, it could be a con. But the working area is so nice. You can really work with your shoulders to draw those circles and lines and everything instead of um, working in a very, very small surface. Again, that's a personal preference. Some people like working on a phone. So I guess it's like, what do you like? If you like big screens and paper texture, this is very, very good. If you like to have more slippery pen and you like smaller, then maybe working on a phone would be good enough, you know? It is really, really up to you. Another pro is that it looks very nice. I could totally see it myself just keeping it on the desk. It looks very, very stylish. Kind of works with my black and white mood on this particular table. I love the rounded corners and the little lines here on the side. It's just a very well designed tablet. Because it's a graphic design tablet, there's also no hunching if you're working on your iPad. Sometimes you could, I see people working like this. It's very bad for your back. But because this is a display tablet, there's no need to worry about that. You can sit the way you sit, stare at your screen and just draw normally. So that is also a pro. And of course, the pro that is mostly advertised with this tablet is the Bluetooth connectivity. I couldn't miss it, but I didn't want to put it first because it's kind of so obvious, but it is a big pro. There's no cables. I can turn this on right now and start drawing and just put it on my lap if I wanted to and have a screen here, maybe watch some Crunchyroll on the side and I can just draw away. So of course the pros being no messy cables, Bluetooth connectivity, no back hunching, a professional style, feel and performance of this tablet. And when we get to the cons, I really do have to be picky a little bit here because I haven't found any big ones really. For example, I think they could have done more with the surface that they have. So they have all these buttons, but there's still a little bit of space there. And it would be so, so nice to have a roller, a speed dial that you can use to adjust the brush size or zoom in, zoom out. That would be just so great. It would take this tablet to the next level. And another one, I guess, if you're a beginner artist or your budget is smaller, 
it is kind of a con that it is not a tablet made for beginners. But then again, you know, if you're a professional artist or you've used these non-display tablets before that were less quality and you want to upgrade to this one, I do think you will really love this and everything that it can do for you. Just wanted to say a quick thanks for Huron for sending over this tablet, but most importantly, thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to this channel to learn digital art with me, and I will see you in the next one. Oh, and you might like to watch this one next.